Hi, my lovely people. We got a shout out. It is being creatively free. And when I say being free is exactly what she does. She gives us tips. She gives us her advice. She shows us her daily life. But the thing that Miss Girl is over there getting done, honey, is them nails. Baby, she is over there doing nails. And she is showing us from the start to the finish. She is showing us the glam uh-huh, to the glamorous. I'm telling y'all, if y'all looking for a channel that has it all with the fashion, baby, the shopping, the nails, and everything, please run over and check her out because guess what? I will be there in the building, and I will see you there. Now, let's let this disclaimer run. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we're here to do. It is for reaction purposes only, entertainment purposes only, or whatever you may want it to be. Don't go out of y'all way disliking anybody we talk about in this video because it is my opinion and my opinion only. My lovely people, OMG, <laughs> I'm going to try not to laugh as we do this reaction. But, baby, this hairstyle here, somebody was trying to sleep with somebody because, baby, she is over here dodging. And do you hear me? She is dodging Barbie the braider. She is going here, there, and everywhere. And, baby, not everybody's silk press blowout or hair dye job is good. This hair looks albino is she. And I ain't talking about the skin color, baby. I'm talking about the hair down to the root of the tuta and the scalp. What is going on? Not to mention, girl, they gave you the old flat press. They gave Gave you that old busted out the golden hots. Y'all remember the golden hots? They busted out the golden hots. And baby, they gave you the press down to the scalp. But baby, when I tell y'all, I don't know what was more funnier. The hairstyle, what she thought she was saying, but the comments, baby, was killing. And they probably still are. But let's go through a few so we can laugh. Now, in the short, she was saying that she, you know, has more hair than our mamas, our grannies, and everybody else. Girl, you barely got more than my daddy, but uh, who to talk about that? I'll say this. My mother passed the cancer, and she still had more hair on her head than that. But, baby, we ain't going to get too messy about that, all right? But, y'all, they was over there saying she looked like Ice Spice, and James Brown had a baby. Oh, I'm trying not to laugh. Not bald as a baby's bottom, but then, girl, ooh. They hit him with the, I can't read this without laughing. <laughs> it says on here right now when you get three teaspoons of orange hair and think that they doing something. Baby. Then somebody said that they gave her the mushroom cup for Sunday school. I said, oh my goodness. And when I read that, y'all, I laughed so hard because, baby, tell me that ain't the uh, look that when, you know, the older church ladies go pull their hat off to wipe their sweat because they've been jumping around in church and that's what they revealed that's really under the Sunday hat is the old mushroom bowl cut. I was cracking up. But then they hit her with a good Lord splitter. And they said, my granny uh, had enough sense to watch her, you know, hoo-ha down there, unlike you, and then called her a bacteria yogurt pad. I said, no, they did it. No, they didn't. But I'm going to tell y'all, this is what you get when you constantly on here talking about your mama and then saying that this and that is more than that person's mama and that person's grandma and this, that, and the third. She's getting exactly what she wants, and that's attention. And then people say, well, she's doing all of this just because she's being funny and y'all taking it the wrong way. No, she's she meant exactly what she says. When she hits her live button or somebody comes in the chat, she tells them that they a hoe and they mama is too and go, don't worry about me, worry about your mammy. It's always something about somebody mama. But girl, you can't get up here and talk about people when you looking like Donald Trump, like he got his hair... <laughs> <laughs> like he got his head sticking out of Air Force One and baby, it's all blowing back. Like it's a bad toupee that somebody give you. Baby, not when you up here looking like a jack-o'-lantern. Is that what you going to Halloween trick-or-treating with your kids dressed as a dang on jack-o'-lantern? Because baby, you got a LED light on the top of your head and it's glowing orange. Baby, this is one of the worst hairstyles I've seen in YouTube history. And then she thinks, oh, well, look at me. It's the curls for me. Girl, it's the dead dye fried to the side edges and ends that's for me you get out here and you talk about how people you know oh they jealous of my curls or look at my hair and, and my skin glowing and this and that girl all that stuff that you getting done to that hair it looks a hot mess even when you get it braided we knew something was going on with barbie because she was sending you out there with them braids looking so stiff like girl you could have went out there and hammered some nails in a wall with them braids you could have went the next day honey and it was looking a whole hot mess you had the uh edges flying out she must not have been using got to be glue let alone edge control because baby she was just getting you in the chair taking your money and then going with your husband at night and you are so embarrassed that you were 
rather go to a different salon and turn out looking like this. And talking about, oh, my hair is healthy. I don't know where at. But baby, baby, when I tell y'all they was lighting her up, and I bet you the comments still are, that's what you get. When you get on here and you out here and you talking all this mess about people, of course they're going to come and talk about you too. Honey, I don't know. You better make sure that they ain't using Pure D bleach, you know, like you using the toilet on your hair, because some may add up right with the way that your, <laughs> your roots is looking. Baby, you don't want to end up like Tina Turner. You know when she said, huh, I'm going to go get my hair done, and she sat down at the salon, got a perm slash dye, and woke up and had to wear wigs. Ooh, we just never know. I just want to check in and be a little messy and a little funny at the same time. I'll see y'all in the comments.